Damn, I the freaking the the prime the, the like actual proper main dragons of Skyrim or well, Rapus. Well, Honestly, you had the just dragons, uh, ice dragons, yeah. blood dragons, ancient yeah. dragons, skeletal dragons. And then, am I forgetting something? I don't know. Uh, I think I think that's it. Really, yeah. it's been a long time since I played Skyrim. I think the only ones I really like the look of, even after playing the game, were the skeletal ones, and it's simply because it reminded me of freaking, um, you, you know, um, I'm trying to think of the best way to uh, picking a, a good time, but it was sort of, it reminds me of my childhood, that's it, right, of when you had, like, skeletal monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yeah. And coincidentally, at the same time, skeletal creatures start to appear in Digimon. Right. Uh, it just sort of makes me think back to then when you had freaking Skull. I think it was Skull Greymon who was like shooting fucking flesh missiles out of his back. Excuse me. You heard. Oops. I the, fucked that up. The giant Boona monster Alex was shooting flesh missiles out of his back. What's so wrong about that? Nothing at all. Nothing. Oh, for, oh, Alex, speaking of Digimon, you remind me of the coolest motherfucker to ever live. Scientifically proven to be in a constant state of zero Kelvin. Beelzemon. Yeah, boy. Right, now, I was never as into Digimon. It was like, well, I don't know, I think most of our friends are, including you. Yeah. But, no, he was like, I just remember watching it tame as a thing it was. Yeah. And he was just fucking sweet. He was cool as shit. He had a fucking motorbike and everything. What kid wouldn't like him? Because, you know, you had, like, the little Bobby one, Impmon. Yeah. It was meant to be the most pathetic thing. Yeah. And he just turns into, like, freaking, um... Like, the guy from, uh, Right to Hell Retribution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's... He was... Conaway, that's it, Jake Conaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you honestly so he, he looks amazing. He looks incredible. That's the thing as well. Uh, but when you reminded me of that scene when what what happens exactly? Is it like a kid gives him a toy yeah, gun? Yeah, gives him like this little freaking toy laser gun. He's like, oh, yeah. take this man, it'll help out. Yeah. He's like, oh sure, thanks, kid. Then turns into like a freaking sh pump action shotgun. Yeah, gun. and yeah, and like, he gives him it, and he looks at it for a second, and he just sort of goes. Oh no, I get how this works, and he turns it into a shotty. Was it a shotty? It was a shotgun. Oh, nice. It was a shotgun. You know why? Because I was, when I was recently playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which is why you freaking remind us of it, um, it asked a question at one point which Digimon uses shotguns as its weapon, and I was just like, fucking Beelzemon does, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I freaking love that guy. Yeah, he was cool as shit. Also, while looking into it, there's so many, like, really freaking metal-looking Digimon. Like... Really... I can't think of their names, right? But there's one that's, um... You can look. It's, it's like the Grim Reaper. If right? the Grim Reaper was just... So withered away and still had, like, bits of flesh hanging off him and stuff. Yeah. It's so cool-looking. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. There was other good ones as well. Um, ah, oh, it's gonna bug us now. We may look up again after this. Now, uh, are we up back on quarter roll? Yes, we are. Nice. Yay! Yeah, yeah, because I like ju the helmet just pushed her over. Freaking juggernaut over here. Yeah. Look at that, though. Eight units. Cool. But it does, I think it gives her. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so we'll get 12 points off that. Seven points off that, you... so that's 19 points without the wolf ring. The juggernaut, Alex, right? When you can't step to it, <laughs> and you, can, you can't go through it, and you can't slow it down, you know what you found? The ball. Oh, shit, headshot. <laughs> it's going in East Montage. <laughs> you know what you found? The ball. The ball. Connects with an earth. What's it? Yeah, uh, shit. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Get my ass kicked. Sippy. Never attack him when he does that. Is he in parry stance? Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's like with enemies, it's all those in the parry stance. 
like non non human ones whenever they uh, have the weapons in front of them. Skeletons in the hollow thieves hold it at an angle, and the Baronite just hold it out, like uh, facing you. Why does this guy look so cool to me? What the uh, Bjorn Bob? Yeah, why is Bjorn Bob starting all cool? And why is that guy so giddy? They like just won big yen on the slots. Well, cause he's just making all these guys into like one hit wonders. He's he's. I remember when you were showing me your parry skills in this section, Alex. Yeah. Okay, right? and you got caught on the fucking corner and ganked by everything. That's Dark Souls for you. Yeah. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. Nobody knows what he'll turn into a tree next. Did you actually go into detail about those stories? Oh, no, I will now. Why not? Um, yeah, because I've just got a few things to do before gargoyles. Yeah. Um, so, there's a time in the Bible where... Just... Story time, boys and girls. Just after Jesus... Uh, Jesus is born or something. That's a bit after. A couple of months here. Parents are running like crazy from Roman hordes. And um, they come across a cave to, to sleep the night in, stay out the harsh conditions. And as they go to enter the cave, a dragon blocks their way. And Jesus, as a newborn baby, steps down from his mother's bosom, is how he puts right. it. Right. So he has, like, fully formed baby muscles. He's got fully formed baby muscle, right? He's, he's probably got that six-pack that kind of looks like a penis on his stomach yeah. already. Um you remember that? What? Have you seen that picture? It's it's like um oh yeah this guy. Yeah the tracks. Yeah. There's a um it was it was it's like Jesus on the obviously on the cross and it's like a model, but the way his six pack goes looks like a penis. All oh, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, he steps down from his mother's bosom. Man, shut up, Latrek. I'm trying to tell cool Jesus stories, yeah, bro. Latrek's cool. He kills women. And doesn't even. Doesn't even. And doesn't even. Yeah, like, I don't know where to go after saying that. <laughs> well, all I can say about Latrek is it's like he's. I don't know, he's like. He's not a sh nice man. He's very embraced. Mm, very. Mm. He's uh, very shady. Uh, I, I welcome him with open arms. I, uh, like, for me, you know, I think he's the most mysterious of, like, all the people that you get a filing shrine. Is that, is that why you always just get, like, massive man meat whenever I bring him up? Sure. Yeah. I want that one. I want that short little boy. Also, mm -hmm. I would have to quit. Hang on, I'll actually see if I can show you it. But, yeah, he becomes a co-op summon once you let him out. Right. Obviously, we're not going to do him for Gargoyles. So. Cool. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so Jesus... Oh, no, it's not. So Jesus oh. just came off this, uh, his mother's breast, steps down and approaches the dragon and speaks to them in their tongue. Yeah. Right? And he goes further into the cave or something, and then when he returns, he is now declared king of dragons. Right. He's the dragonborn. The original. Patient hero of dragonborns. Oops. Excuse me. These Stop. are some ugly motherfuckers who have brought a kick your ass. Oh! I'll take back every word I just said. Man, these guys really hate thunder in their ass. Well, that's what happens when you cover yourself in, like, copper. Hmm, I suppose so. So, Jesus' magic badassery stories mark us. Okay, I'm really starting to think I shouldn't do the pine resin. Because people aren't getting to see the fights now. <laughs> I don't actually expect to do that much damage. <laughs> Alex, I think secretly you've actually planned this out a lot more than you've seen. No, this is just this is just uh, business as usual for me. All oh, right, so mm, okay, sure thing. Why not? Anyway, Mark Dos. Yeah. Jesus story Dos. Dos. Uh, right. Jesus, bit more. He's a, he's just a wee boy now. Yeah. He's a wee boy. Playing in this little babbling brook of water, and there's some more kids playing around. Jesus starts pulling um, freaking clay out the river and makes some bitchin' ass um, warhammer figures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes himself a little uh, orc arm. Yeah, right, and he gives these orc figurines life. 
Well, like, okay, I may have been substituting the word sparrow for orc figurines. Um, and he gives some he shooters. Gi- he gives some life. And the uh, the other kids see, and they're like, damn, that, that's pretty bitching, but we're actually super dickheads, so we're actually going to fuck with you, your little babbling brook. So this kid takes a stick and starts beating the freaking the water with it, and Jesus turns to him, says some magic-y mumbo-jumbo. God damn, that's... that's um, that's just freaky. That's uh, Oswald of Kareem. Greetings. So basically, if you get uh, if you're a naughty boy and you get indicted, you can speak to him. Uh huh. But you should always stay indicted because then the dark moon blades have a point. <laughs> okay. Right. So but, hang on, I'm not done, bitch. Okay. Okay. First off, you. This is really important. This is where you get well. What is it? Right. Second up, you also just sell some really good stuff. Okay. Right. Back to Jesus' story. Jesus starts found some biblical mumbo jumbo, and yeah. turns the kid to a, into a fucking tree. Yeah, boy. A dead tree. A dead tree. Not a living tree. He turns it into a dead tree. I love the world popping in there. <laughs> um. Part. Let's go to part three, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Jesus, now a bit bigger boy, and his family finally found somewhere to live in some village someplace. Yeah. Uh, um, Jesus, wandering through the street, uh, a kid runs by and clumsily bumps his shoulder. Jesus then turns to the boy and says, you will not get to your destination, and then the boy drops dead. (laughs) The end of part three. This is like Jesus meets Scarface. Yeah. (laughs) I'm Jesus Christ! I'm Jesus fucking Christ! Okay! I'm re-holy! Uh, anyway. Part 4, boys and girls. Yeah, can't just say, right, one of these days we're gonna have to play uh, the Scarface oh, game on game. PS2. That game. Oh, yeah. that it game. was amazing. That game was unnecessarily fun. That was, like, better than GTA. Yeah. Easily. Well, it's just listening to... Fr- um, the... I... Oh! I hate myself. Guy, who, who's the guy in Scarface again? I hate myself right now. Who, uh, Tony Montana? Tony fucking Montana! There we go. I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> you know what I was thinking of? Yeah? Santino Morella. <laughs> and I couldn't. It was like. Oh, it was yeah, that's just... like. Uh, <laughs> this difference between Cuba and Italy. You know yeah, I no. Uh, you know when you're in your head, you just go, you couldn't be more wrong. Don't, yeah. don't even speak. I was, I just went, no, just ask Alex for the answer on this one, you fucked. You know, uh, I would have said it's good that you didn't say Santino Morella, but you kind of just did. I did, though. I, I, I felt I had to, because I'm an idiot, and right. I, I do those things. But anyway, part four. Right, Jesus, now got the Jesus Patrol. A bunch of ragtag street toughs. Who have, cobbled, who have cobbled together under his leadership out of fear of being turned into fucking trees. He is now only known as the mighty Jimmy. Now, rush, <laughs> now the kids follow Jesus, acting as bodyguards, and shunting away those that may potentially rustle his jimmies. Nah. By rustling everyone else's jimmies. Yeah, they rustle them pretty good. And ma- basically just make everyone try to worship him. They just make everyone it's, do it. It basically just sounds like this really aggressive cult. Yeah. Like, one, you know, like, the two steps away from, like, bombing the streets. One day, one day, this this family are walking through town, and they got this sick kid, and the street toughs come up, and they're like, you're a dog. This kid is going to turn you into a tree if you don't, like, hallelujah him. It's for your own good, B. Right? And they're like, no, we don't have time for your shenanigans, children. So, uh, our, our child they, they is really sick. they really have that, like, sneer on them? <laughs> Fuck, I know. <laughs> that biblical sneer? Yeah. Well, it's actually, if it's biblical, then it'd be to a greater proportion where, like, they took an inhale so grand it caused winds to shift over the lands for 20 years or something, Alex. But, the, Jesus then asks, why don't you be worshipping my ass? And they respond with, our, our kid's super ill, a snake bit him in the woods. Jesus then goes, okay, I get I get where you're coming from, that's understandable. Uh, this, this is excusable. Uh, okay, I have, some, I have something more for the people. Right. Right, me a hundred more. So, 
If you want to get access to magic, you know, if you want access to miracles, you just talk to the guy from before, uh, Petrus, who gave us a penny to go the fuck away. But uh, if you want to get that magic, you need to come here, either kill this guy, and get a really good dex weapon, oh, Yushi <laughs> Katana. But yeah, like the, the price of it is like you lose all dignity for having a katana. <laughs> Well, like, when you, like, you know, you can just kill him, get a katana, and get a key, or you can buy it, because he does sell, like, the reinforced club, and you yeah, can't yeah. get that anywhere else, and it's actually, it's, like, better, like, it's, like, a club, but it has much better base damage, so, if you plan on going for, like, a lower stat build, like, you know, not putting a lot of points in strength, mm -hmm. you're better off with the reinforced, or, like, going up elemental, yeah, yeah. if you're going up elemental, you're better off with the reinforced club, yeah, I think.